web is the defining technological revolution of our lifetimes. Almost two billion of us are now online. And in the 10 years that I've been studying the web and writing about it as a journalist, I've seen it take our world and shake it apart. The web has created unimaginable wealth, yet encouraged millions to work for nothing. It's challenged authority, yet allowed regimes to spy and censor as never before. And it's been blamed for creating a generation of web addicts. It opened up new realms of knowledge. In this series, I'll be meeting all the pioneers and key players. Everybody from Google to Facebook, Twitter to Amazon. The people who've helped bring about this seemingly unstoppable leveling of power, culture and values that's having such an impact on all of our daily lives. Well, the web is how mankind communicates nowadays. It's like the internet has become a brain. It's the smartest brain in the world. It is an empowering tool that has more potential than any other that human civilization has ever developed. The world is just going to keep on getting more and more open. There's going to be more information available about not everything. This is astounding technology, and we should just take a moment to celebrate the power and the reach that it gives us. And so this is the story of the web. But it's more than that. This is also the story of how the web is remaking our world. A quarter of the planet now uses the web. On any given day in the British Isles, over 35 million of us will log on. The web is where we spend our money, around a billion pounds a week. Britain's most active e-shoppers in Swansea, with Kirkwall and the Orkneys in second place. It's where we fall in love, with five million of us using a dating website every month. Manchester and central London have proportionally the most online lonely hearts. And the web is where we express opinion. 18 million of us read blogs, Dumfries the least, West London the most. The web is a revolution.